is how to assemble the model rockets that we got the up aerospace space loft for Cub Scouts this is what the package looks like when you get it in from uh, Esther's so I have everything undone here the only thing that I've gone ahead and done is mark up and do a few cuts on the rocket tube itself the one thing we have to keep in mind is they change the size of the rocket tube the instructions say something else than what it should be so on the top you need to cut it an inch and a half from the very top here's a model rocket from last year and you can see that uh, they did cut off a little extra so I'm gonna go ahead open up the package and this is all that's within the kit so the first thing that we're going to do is assemble a nose cone, which we take out this clay, and I am not gluing them together, just because I have super glue. I don't want to waste it all right now. So what I normally do is I take the clay, I break it up into two or three or four spots, they say four. And then what you do is when you roll it up, you place it in the nose cone, use a pencil to help pack it down. I think I'm going to get about three pieces into this, which is fine. Okay, so there we go. Let's get a little bit off the edge. And what we do is we would actually put glue around the end cap you stick it into the nose cone your now weighted nose cone and your nose cone assembly is now done so the next step that you would do would be to mark off and cut the tubes now for one end actually you do it an inch and a half from either side and you do a straight line up and down you put it up against a door or something like that a straight edge and what you do for your next step would be going ahead and you grab this little rocket catch, motor catch. You push it in straight and then your nose cone. What you would do is you would go ahead right before you got it here and I would put a little bit of glue right around here. And you glue it right straight to the to edge. You still want this to come up your release this is how your motor goes in and comes out and that is done for the end for your uh, parachute cord what I have done is I have a little slot right there as I stab myself and what you do is you go ahead and you feed the cord through you can see it coming through you pull it till you have about a quarter inch so just about this this length and then what you would do is you would wrap put some glue around it and you see the lug right here so this is what we're trying to line up what I've done in the past straight edge helps
making sure looking down the tube you see everything lines up and then after that glue is set the next step in this whole uh, assembly is we go ahead and you grab your cord or your um, your chute and I usually do it right about the middle and all you do is you take scotch tape Make sure to cover up all the sticky tape. And to pack this, all you would do is just take your little cord or your little parachute. That's all you have to do. You tie your nose cone on with just a regular knot. And then what you can do is you turn this in, or you fold this up, stuff in your rocket, and you are completed. That's all the steps you need in order to assemble your rocket. It does come with a decal. You can paint it. What I suggest to people that are painting it is on the nose cone right here stay away from here because this fits in here firmly snugly and if you put paint on there it will not fit